So one of the biggest questions I get asked is how do I go about remembering all of the muscles that we have in the body, especially ready for that level three anatomy and physiology exam. There's a lot of long words that come out of the equation and sometimes it's hard to recognize those words if you don't truly know how to spell them, for example, or you know how to pronounce them or you know what they mean. So whenever you remember any word, you need to know what it looks like, what it means and what that word kind of looks like on a page as well. And we need to use our visual memory in order to recall that. That's probably how you recall the word dog, for example, and know how to spell the word dog. Because when I say the word dog, you can see an image of a dog, no matter whether it's moving, still, uh, playing, whatever. You can see that dog. So then you know how to spell it because you have that visual representation. Now, I just want to show you this in relation to one particular muscle. I'm going to use the gluteus maximus, so why not use the best one, the, the great big glute, so the butt. Do we use the bum muscles for this one? So, first of all, before we get started, I need you to just think about kind of feeling really focused and really kind of where you are. I want you to get rid of all of those worries that you have in relation to, oh, can I do this? I hate exams. All of those type of fears that you have about spelling, any of that. Um, and I just want you to get rid of it. I just want you to relax, enjoy it, and accept that you might not get this right first time, that's okay. And um, we're going in with quite an advanced one, so take it easy and step by step. This is a new skill, it's not always great for everybody, but most people I find get really great results with it. So if you've never tried visual memorizing before, this one's for you. Let's give it a go. So first of all, you need to get an image of a gluteus maximus. So when I say that, you've probably got an image already, but let me share one with you. So here we go. This is a gluteus maximus. This, this nice big peachy shape here. What I want you to do is just I want you to memorize this image for me. Pop that in your head. Think about where it starts. Where's this tendon up here and how does that go down? So really think, what is this space here, this gluteus maximus? What does it really look like? What way are the striations on it? Really imagine that in your mind's eye. Now that's the gluteus maximus. Really imagine it in your mind's eye. What does it look like? Get that image up now so that you can see it. And then as you're looking at that, I just want you to overlay this word. This is how you spell the word gluteus maximus. Now, this is quite a long word, so you might break it into a few different sections. That's okay. But I want you to just study this for a moment so that you know all of this, fantastic. And I just want you to put those words on top of that image you already have of the gluteus maximus. So see, it almost like it's being tattooed onto that glute. So gluteus maximus. See that word, let it kind of get totally transferred onto that glute. Now you might have split up the word, you might have G-L-U-T separate to the E-U-S, that's okay. Chunking it up can actually help. So if you don't manage this on the first time round, chunking it can help. So try it again. Now, you've got that in your image. So if I ask you now, recall a gluteus maximus, you should have that same image. And on that image, you should have the word gluteus maximus written. Yeah? Now, what colour is the font? Just change the colour for me, just to prove to yourself that you can change the colour. Great, okay. Now with that, I want you to just imagine that and I just want you to recall it so you can look at that image, really see it right in front of you and just spell out each of those letters for me. So do that now, spell out each of the letters that make up the word gluteus maximus. Start reading them out now. If you're not reading them out, start reading. It's okay if you get a little bit stuck, just carry on. It's okay if it's a bit slow as well. That's okay, keep going. Okay, so most people have probably done it by now. Now, when you're spelling that out, you might be racking your brains, you might be looking up, really trying to see that image. But if you don't have the image of it, or if you got stumbled, that will be because you've lost that image. The image has just disappeared. In which case, you just got to do this a few more times. It can take six, 12 times to go through because we're talking at quite advanced words here. They're quite advanced words, aren't they, that we've got going on. So now that you've recalled that, I want you to 
get that image in your head again and I just want you to see that image see the letters on there just so that you can recall this is how you spell out those words fantastic now change the font or the handwriting or the size of it or you might put it on a slant you might um, sort of make it in line with striations you might chunk it down it might be moving around the page and then I want you to make it stay still on that page as much as you can and I want you to now read those words backwards so read out every letter starting from that last letter I'm going to give you one to start off with that's S you want to start from S and you're going to work your way in reverse along all of those letters that spell gluteus maximus so do that now if you get stuck that's all right so that's probably everybody now if you're not there don't worry keep going now if you can successfully do that backwards you have constructed an image that you can recall. You don't need a textbook, which is good because in the exam you don't get a textbook. Um, but you don't need a textbook because it's in your mind's eye. It's in your memory. Now, you need to practice this, obviously. But it is a really valuable way of imprinting that using our visual memory. And most people, most PTs in particular, have very good visual memories. They're very good with visual. So try it. Give it a go, try it on a few different muscles, but don't overload yourself too much straight away. Start with the easier ones. Make life a little bit easier for yourself and then build up to the long ones that are harder to pronounce, like gastrocnemius, okay? So start off easier, then build up gradually. And just let me know how you get on. So this one's a little bit of a different video for you guys, a little bit of a revision difference going on. And I'm really intrigued how well you get on. So please do pop a little comment below try it for this one how did you get on did you manage to do it and then try it on a few other muscles and let me know how you get on replay this video as much as you need to if you're watching it on youtube do the little thumbs up um hit like hit subscribe pop a little comment below and i look forward to hearing from you because i'm really fascinated on how many people this actually works for um i think quite a few of you will be pleasantly surprised but have a lovely day and good luck with that revising. Take care.